Hey guys, good evening from Kiev. Uh, it is our last night here before we head out to uh, Venice tomorrow and then on to the gypsy camps after that. Um, had a full day today, got to spend a lot of time with the CBN Ukraine office. Again, 150 people working there. Um, got kind of an overview of all the work they're doing and they're reaching just some incredible places, places that they never thought the gospel would go. Um, places where governments are not necessarily friendly to Christians, um, but because of the love that they're showing people, because of the excellence with which their programs are run, um, they're definitely getting access to some places that uh, we can't even really talk about. So, um, but very cool to see that. And then also to just to hear from our OP staff on the front lines um, more about what they're doing in the war zone, um, about the medical clinic that they run. I'm going to try and drop some photos over this as I'm talking here. So, um, you guys don't have to just look at me all the time, but we've got some good photos from today. Got to pray over the medical clinic staff. Um, saw the mobile medical clinic that was donated by some Orphans Promise donors when they were here in 2013. Um, and found out that that mobile clinic has done over 12,000 x-rays in the last three years. So uh, people who would not have access to medical care in any way, shape, or form um, due to lack of finances, due to lack of access from where they live in very rural communities, um, are getting health access because of Orphan's Promise and because of your generosity. So um, got to spend some time with the kids at our training center here in Kiev, and that was just awesome. It was the first time we'd really gotten to connect with our kids since we'd been here. Um, it, it had been the weekend, and so they weren't really around, but um, got to spend about an hour and a half with them today and just kind of hear their stories. And, you know, these are all kids who are orphaned or at risk or maybe coming from abusive backgrounds. Um, and now they're learning life skills, they're learning music and computer skills and English, and um, just lots of joy. They were so proud to show us the songs they'd practiced for us, uh, particularly a couple kids stood out that were um, in the music program. These kids come with no musical background whatsoever, um, and they want to learn instruments because they think, you know, guys who play in bands are cool or whatever the case may be, but really a lot of them have found that they've got incredible musical talent, and God has really gifted them that way. Um, but the biggest change is that they come to the facility, to the training center, shy and reserved and quiet because they've had a tough life and they've not really had anybody who loved or cared or was interested in investing in them. Um, and now you see them in their, you know, front and center star of the show, really ready to share their story or ready to sing and dance and have fun. And so we're seeing God really do some pretty incredible things, healing these kids who've come from difficult backgrounds and, um, you know, that makes it all worth it when you get to actually see these kids and hug them and put your hands on them and, and just say hi. And, and um, we don't speak the same language, but with interpreters and with um, hugs and smiles, you, you kind of end up speaking the same language. So, again, a great day today. Uh, this will be my last night here in the hotel. And then we're heading tomorrow again to Venitsa. And then we're on an overnight train after that, which will be my first one. So that's I've, I've heard that's quite an adventure. So we'll see. We've got a couple overnight trains coming up. Um, not sure what kind of access I'll have to the internet while we're out there, so I'll do my best. Um, you know, we'll get you guys as many photos as we can, but um, hope you've had a, a great time following along. We're having a blast being here, and we can't wait to get out and see what else God is doing through Orphan's Promise and through your generosity. So thanks. Have a great uh, day, I guess. It's, it's going to be morning when you guys see this. I'm heading to bed, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.